Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Dark Zero Knight, and this is what to win. This week, we're actually using the, uh, a console again instead of PCs, and what do I have for you? Bam! We're doing some... Ooh, let me turn the glare off the screen. We're doing some Metroid Prime for the original GameCube. This game, I remember buying it when it came out and released. It was unbelievable to play at the time. I think it was, what, 2001, 2? Something like that. I can't remember. I'm too old! But before I keep continuing, how about we just get to the game? Now, please, uh, if you want, suggest if you want me to continue going through this, you know, series or onto a new series, because I got all three games, so I can play them. Actually, I have every Metroid game. Loser! But let's get to the video, huh? Shall we? Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I am Dark Xeno Knight, and this is Metroid Prime. Yeah, see, I skipped over the first half. We're gonna do go do some jumping around and tracking onto items with the Evergrade Talon Overworld here. It's been a long time since this game's been used and played, so uh, I'm not gonna remember a lot of it, to be truthful. Yeah, I know, I am horrible at the sound effects. So. That's how it goes. Game has been saved. This game was so pretty here. Look around. Da, 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 da. I remember just hours spent scanning every little thing in the world. This game is so amazing back when it came out because not only did you have the GameCube being you know a release title for this. Oh, I don't have morph ball capabilities. But uh, this showed off the GameCube in all of its power. Uh, it was one of the games that a lot of people don't like because of, oh, because of that. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie to you. Some of the uh, platforming is rather hard on this. So it was a bit of a learning curve for people to do with a controller. Because we were so used to our 2D Samus, or Samus, depending on how you pronounce it, that going to this whole 3D world threw everybody off. I'm not even sure where I'm supposed to be going. Probably over here with the only one that I can jump to since I don't have any powers for my boots and everything else. So, I just remember the continuous time and time of scanning creatures like this just to get everything loaded into the book so I get a hundred percent I gotta go this way and how much backtracking I did oh man the, uh, the ever great you know castle the metrovania style of gameplay where you're constantly going back and forth trying to remember where you've been or you can't get to a certain area until you have an item it, it was mind-boggling at times I will admit and other times it was just classic fun unbelievable fun tell you the truth I don't even know if I'm supposed to be going this way and just trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be going again. I don't think I'm supposed to be going down this way. Not yet. I don't know. Nope, I can't do anything until I have a proper weapon on that door. But at least it's added to my map. Alright, so, uh... Guess we're going that way. Ha, you missed me. I can't charge beam things to me. Oh. Funny thing is, like, the Chozo created this wonderful, great suit for Samus. You'd think they would find a way that once you had an ability, that was it. You didn't have to worry about it. You have to worry about getting knocked out of you. Oh, look how pretty that suit looks with the lighting. I should have plugged the fusion game in and played in the fusion suit. I don't know. That whole fusion storyline really threw me off. Yeah. Yeah, 
I think the uh, incoming scan. Amnetics. Look how pretty it looks. That's an unbelievable. I know, folks. Oh, it's a GameCube game. It, it's so nice. It's fun. Lots of fun. So let's see here. I think there's a big dude that jumps out here. Now a bunch of little guys. I know, auto aim. It's so cheap. That's one of those ramps. All right, now if I'm not mistaken, if I go through this side, there's a save room, which that's where I'll save and stop. I really, you know, try not to make these uh these what the winds uh, too long anymore. That way, you guys don't have to worry about getting uh sitting through the whole thing, unless you want me to do a playthrough and uh. If you want me to do a playthrough, let me know, and uh, I'll try putting the time together to whoop, get one going. But these games are long. Oh, look, there's one of the lures. Lore script. Station detected. It should be right next to me. Yeah, that was so hard, huh? Wow. All right, Captain. Save game, obvious. Beep. I had an idea where it was. Scan that thing. Ordinate thing. Hive. War wasp. Ah, there's a rocket pack. Something else is right here that's red. Okay. Jump, jump, jump. I can remember all the tricks on how to use a controller on this, so I'm gonna walk over to here. Combat visor again. Oop! Something just smacked into me. your gun you can make platforming a little easier there we go how to find the save room I hear something behind the wall right here it's a low hum probably can't hear it but uh I know it's there uh, we're just gonna bounce over you guys Where'd that save room go? Right there. There it is, down that hall. See, I knew there was a save room in this area, but I didn't go far enough over. <laughs> oh, figure. And there we are. There's the save room. So 
that's where we'll leave it right now. And let me know what you think. I am Dark Xeno Knight. This is Metroid Prime Corruption. And uh, if you guys want me to do a playthrough or keep going down to show you the different ones, uh, the first 10 minutes or something, I'll do that. Let me know. Thank you. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Now that you watch the video, video, let me know what you think. Should I do, do Metroid Prime 2 Echoes? Show you first 15 minutes of that? Or should I go to pff, Classic Land with the Zelda Collections? Your choice. And if we do the Zelda Collection, tell me which one you want me to do. Come on. Let me know. Thank you.